Since January, I've been participating in a live version of Liz Steele's Sketching Now watercolour course. In this video, let's review some of the sketches I've done and look ahead to what I'm going to do next to strengthen my sketching skills. There are links to Liz's courses and all the other material I reference in the description. She doesn't teach a traditional approach to watercolour. She uses it in a quicker and more spontaneous way, which lends itself to sketching on location. Liz's course is structured so you can work through it at your own pace, but this year she ran a live version in which you work through the lessons with a group and Liz hosts a weekly live stream. This was from a lesson about controlling water and painting good watercolour washes. I'm flicking through the sketches in the order I did them. They were all done using watercolour and ink in an A4 moleskin watercolour album. The paper is 25% cotton and the current version is Forest Stewardship Council certified. This was an exercise in breaking a scene into shapes. It's based on a photo of Liz's. This is another one based on a photo of Liz's. This was an exercise in painting the darks first, which is the opposite of the traditional approach to watercolour in which you paint from light to dark. I painted the darks first in this one as well. I was also thinking about ideas from Ian Roberts video about how shadows create 3D form. When I painted the cast shadow, I had some undiluted ultramarine in the body of the brush. The paint was drying too quickly to do much about it, and in the end it makes for an interesting shadow. I painted this one from a photo of the river that runs through Ulster. I painted everything in a wet wash, and then added richer darks without waiting for the first layer to dry. At the end, I added some definition using a pen with a food a nib. This is a new version of a sketch I did from Google Maps Street View during lockdown in 2020. Liz reviewed it in the final live stream and I've tweaked it a bit based on her advice. Working through the course with a group has been motivating and adds an extra bit of encouragement to do the exercises. Seeing other people's work and hearing about what they've learnt and found challenging is also helpful. I'm building up some sketching momentum and this has encouraged me to join a group run through of Liz's Edges course which starts in mid-March. This is in preparation for her watercolour on location course which starts in June. While I'm waiting for the Edges course to start, I'm sketching skies and learning more about the different types of clouds and the weather that comes with them. This is based on a suggestion from the Curious Nature Guide. You can see some of my other sketches based on ideas from the Curious Nature Guide in my previous video, which I've linked at the end of this video and in the description. If you are new to sketching, please let me know how you're getting on and how you're developing your skills. Thank you for watching.